Hey guys, Farak here. Okay, um, I'm here with another replay that's one of those do not do replays. There are many mistakes in this replay. Um, e. Kimco played pretty well. So let's see how it goes. We have a Dread Charger for E. Kimco and a Dread Charger for Smokes. It's Smokes actually. Alright, Smokes. Um, typical high rank players always fight in the middle because not it's interesting because the middle is not actually great because this well can be attacked from this cliff by anything as can this one but still getting the middle means that you have control of this which offensively is amazing you could shoot down these wells so players high rank players like getting control of the middle in this map but Ikimko decides to grab a well here, so I'm assuming Smooks will grab this well. No, he grabs an orb. Okay. This is a frost orb, so a lot of players at this point would make a night guard so that Smooks now cannot make a lost reaver, and he has not a very good advantage at being two, tier 2. Uh, e. Kimco has to be careful spamming Forsaken because once you're tier 2 you can make Dark Elf Assassins and one squad of Dark Elf Assassins can practically take out two squads of Forsakens alone. So there goes your advantage. Very bad nasty. Hello am I there? Recording a vid. This spam is terrible. I told you Dark Elf Assassins will absolutely destroy these guys. Um, e. Kimko is being smart, and he's using his Dread Charger to attack the Dark Elf Assassins. Uh, more spam. He nastied it, maybe for the knockback. If yes, then it was okay. If it was to kill anything, I don't know. Okay. E. Kimko frenzies these guys, which is very risky, because Frost can do Cobalt Trick and Glacier Shell and protect the orb. There you go. So it could be these guys will die with doing nothing. There you go. So he makes another one. And another one. Remember, when they're dazed, they only do half damage. So two sets is like only one set. But there is a thing. When Glacier Shell is cast, you cannot do Cobalt Trick for a few seconds afterwards. So he does have a small window of time to get this orb down still. He's completely ignoring this Dark Elf Assassin spam, which will kill all these guys. But it looks like this orb will go down first. Okay, what on earth was that? Smooks did a home soil. Does it work from this far? I, I I can't imagine it does give the boost from this far from that orb. I'm gonna say it was a wasted home soil. There's no way it actually did anything. And he saves his orb. Terrible home soil, but he did save his orb. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just tell you what he should do at this point. Smooks now has a large advantage. Sure, he's down on power. I have no idea. Let's see. E. Kimco now has 70 power. Smooks has 50. But Smooks has a much larger and stronger standing on me. If he nasties this, that would be really bad. Good move by Smooks. He brought only one set up here so that he can do damage. Yeah, but still, that, that was bad. Micro. He should have moved these two groups maybe ahead. Yeah, E. Kimco is playing very well. At least he countered that pretty well. And Smooks builds a well now. Very risky. Now Ikimko can build a second well and he'll be fine. Um, Ikimko should move his dread away because they have the ability enabled. After the ability runs out, they can't move. So he should have... Alright, I guess it worked out, but 12 path health. I mean, he should have just moved the dread charger away. And after they were paralyzed and couldn't move, then come back and attack them. And here we see a Reaver, Night Guard. Night Guard, anybody? There's the Night Guard. There is a long walk here, so I'm assuming by the time the Reaver comes, the Night Guard will be able to swap. There's a trick, by the way, which I don't think Smooks is going to do properly. He uses his ability. Okay, I don't know what that was about. For 90 power, it will resurrect if it dies. It'll be like a ghost, whatever. Um, okay, terrible microwing here. First of all, walking through an enemy unit makes you slow. He should have walked around it. Second of all, he's walking right into a night guard, and he obviously sees that, and the ability's ready. 
I, I don't get it. Okay, by the way, okay, so the swap just happened. Let me tell you a very cool trick. You can do is you can have your finger on nasty and put your nasty on your lost reaver and the second you see this motion happen, the night guard about to swap, you can nasty your own reaver. What it will do is it will let the night guard swap and it will nasty this guy's reaver instead. Now, I'm telling you a bug. This should not happen, but it does. So use it to your advantage. I played a match once where the, I, I went... Um, let me try to remember exactly what happened. Yeah, I was playing a pure nature player and I was tier 3. Parasite Swarm, which controls units just like Night Guard, can take even tier 3 units. I had... Uh, Silverwind Lancers running to the enemy bases and he was trying to use Parasite Swarms to control them and the second the swap happened I nastied my Lancers which then became his Lancers so I nastied his own units and damaged his wells. So apparently Smooks is not that good and either did not know about this move or was not quick enough to do it. Is he going to swap back? Maybe he'll get a swap off. I don't know. He should use the Nox ability. See, that's bad. Once the Night Guard has a protection, after like 10 seconds of the swap, it has extremely high defense, but that's over by now. E. Kimko should have done one shot with the Nox Trooper and then used the special ability overload, and the Night Guard would have died. But it looks like it's going to get its swap back. Yep. You have to remember, this is not just a 120 power Reaver. This is a 210 power reaver because it enabled the ability, which makes it resurrect if it dies. So he kills it so the night guard doesn't get it again, which is not great. Why? Can anybody tell me? Okay. What he should have done is nasty it because that would have done heavy damage to both these wells and then it would have resurrected. Just killing it not smart. And will it get the well down? I have no idea. Wildfire. It looks like Ekimko went tier 2. Yes, he did. And he saved his well. Good job. Okay, Smooks is now terrified because he was behind on the first well. Now he's been behind on two wells for a while. So he rushes tier 3. Let's see what sort of power he has. He has 130 power. I have no idea what he's going to do. And E. Kimco goes tier 3 as well. Not a good move. Look, he has... He just spent 250. So he would have had about 300 power. Plus a Nox and a Dread. He could have attacked here with 200 power. Attacked here with 200 power. And Smooks would have had, you know, 100 power in tier 3 to defend. Which would not have worked out for him. So that was just... Going tier 3 for Ekimko, not a good idea, but it's not going to hurt him because he has such a power advantage. Smooks has a Nightcrawler here and makes a Dazed Ashbone, which means that even though it has Siege, it only does half. Uh, he uses Life Weaving on it. What is Ekimko? Ekimko has Fire Shadow Shadow, so he does not have Crowd Control. No freeze or oink or anything. Okay, Cultist Masters are one of the strongest tier 3 units. They only cost 60 power. And for free, you can make three Nightcrawlers that have Frenzy enabled. Which means they do like 140, I mean 1,400 damage each. And Smooks just used a spell called Frenetic Assault. Which makes your own units attack each other. Uh... <clears throat> That's an expensive spell. It's like 90 power or 80 power just to kill a 60 power unit. Not worth it. Will he get this orb down? Sunreaver, yay. Sunreaver is a very overpowered unit. Smooks for 80 or 75 power. I don't know what it is. Cold snaps. Another cultist master. And I don't think this Ashbone is going to survive. Nope. And that is basically good game. You can't recover from that mistake.
another ash bone to this orb. He should heal up this ash bone and not build this well. And he should do something with this night guard that's just sitting around. Yeah, Sun Reaver will absolutely destroy an ash bone before it does any damage. By the way, if Ikimko has disenchant, he should use that when he gets frozen and just keep on attacking. Uh, looks like there was a Soul Shatter here, but after the last nerf, Soul Shatter only does 50% damage against buildings, so it is not worth it. Unless there are a ton of units. Sun Reaver abilities, something I don't think I've ever used in my life. Life Weaving. Yeah, this orb's going to go down. And then Ashbone's going to go down. Game over. Okay. Um... I think I have one or two more matches I want to show you today. Once again, none of these matches are extraordinary or incredibly good. I just want to show you typical mistakes. And after that, hopefully, we're going to do some very high-ranked matches. All right, have a great day.